There have been a lot of controversies in the last few months. How does George Bodenheimer deal with anything that might come up going forward? Yeah, I mean, this is this really caps a, a tumultuous year at ESPN with layoffs. Uh, there was the Jamel Hill tweet controversy, which Donald uh, Trump responded to on Twitter. Um, you know, there's, they're trying to remake uh, Sports Center for this age of social media. There's an enormous amount going on, and like you were saying before, they're they're looking to create a direct-to-consumer service next year, uh, which is a huge bet on the future. Um, so whoever takes over for John Skipper has got uh, his or her hands very, very full. Mm. Yeah, big shoes to fill, clearly, Jerry. And it comes, of course, as Disney tries to buy 21st Century Fox. How does this all fit into that? Yeah, I mean, that's one more thing that the next, um, you know, the head of Disney or of ESPN is going to think about because part of the Fox-Disney deal is that Disney now has control of Fox's regional sports networks. There was about two dozen of them. Um, Bob Iger's talked about how those regional sports networks will be a, a complement to ESPN. Um, obviously, neither the, the regional sports networks or ESPN will have uh, on their streaming services the really premium sports. So that's kind of the challenge there is to figure out a way that uh, to get people to, uh, to tune into these um, streaming services when, you know, things like Monday Night Football and college football are not actually going to be on there, at least for the time being. Now, Skipper had just signed a contract extension, which would have given him until 2021. So clearly... ESPN was happy with his performance. He had tried several new things, right? It was, it, was it his idea to sort of partner up with Barstool Sports and, and all of these other ideas? Yeah, I mean, the Barstool Sports, actually, there was a story in the Boston Globe just a couple of days ago that really looked at um, ESPN and, and the culture for women there. It, it was a very critical piece. Uh, you know, it's hard to say what role that played in, in this. But, um, you know, John Skipper is, uh, I think he got a lot of credit for building ESPN into what it's become. Uh, but this is a company that faces real challenges going forward. They're losing subscribers. Um, and they're also on the hook for billions of dollars in TV rights uh, to these sports leagues over the years. And that's, you know, part of the reason why we've seen these layoffs. And it's just a real challenge for this company to try and navigate its way into the future.